class, my name is Corona Jones, and today I'll be doing an informative speech on women and hair obsession. The reason I chose this was because, personally, I have had every hairstyle in the book, besides shaving my hair. I came close. I've had a buzz cut before, because I had a really bad relaxer one time, and I had to go natural. <laughs> yeah, I cried for about two weeks. So I decided, because going to TSU, I have seen all different types of hairstyles on women, from the Rihanna hairstyle, to the Nicki Minaj with the pink highlights, to the curly, to the freestyle braids, to the twist. There are mil millions of hairstyles that women do to achieve a certain look. Now, this obsession that women have, does that give them a sense of security? Does it give them an identity? Does it clarify beauty? Does it make a woman more acceptable to the partner, to their spouse, to their boyfriend, to their potential husband? You know, you meet a man, you gotta make sure the first thing, your makeup, outfit, and of course your hair. Some people do not leave their house, especially me. You will not see me at church if I don't have my hair done. Forget the Sunday outfit. If my hair is not fixed, I'm not going. That's just because I think my hair represents me. Now today, you heard me say before I started my speech, my hair is frizzy because I didn't have oil. But I had to come to class anyway to present. So I was like, they gonna talk about me? Oh well. They have millions of types, like I said, it comes to the point where they have new things called fusion, where they use glue to hook onto the natural hair. But the thing I don't like about the fusion is because when your natural hair starts to grow, you can see a clump. Just like when your freestyle braids start to grow, you can see your natural hair. Um, these are just a certain um, examples of before and after. I couldn't really find a lot of picture of ethnic hair because usually we will not take a picture before what we look like. So I had to use um, Caucasian women. She went from uh, dirty blonde hair to, I want to say, light blonde with highlights. She basically put a relaxer on her hair, a texturizer, to make her curls uh, more manageable. Here you can see an African-American woman. She went from, I want to say, the jerry curl style to bone straight. And sh this Caucasian woman had curly hair, and she blow dried her hair out to make it straight. Now this woman is, um, I can relate to her hair because she has the coarse curly hair, kind of like what the majority of African-American women start out with. We start out with coarse hair. You know, it's kind of curly, but we put relaxers on our hair, different types, oil, um, olive oil, or I don't know the name of it, but it's the, the relaxer with the two ladies on the box. Have y'all seen it? Mm -hmm. I call it two ladies on the box because I never, I didn't know it was cheap. It's like $6 for two curls. Mm -hmm. Really good. Uh, that's what she used, and then her hair is actually the curly, the kinky curly, and she put a relaxer on it, and it turned straight as well. So there's lots of chemicals and processes a woman can go through to achieve a certain look. Um, to achieve a certain look, they have um, anywhere from flat irons to cheese, um, products such as shampoos, conditioners. They have glosses. They have everything you can imagine. Any look you are trying to achieve, you can go to the store, ask someone, ask a friend, a relative. They're going to say, oh, girl, you need this. And then what do we do? We rush out to the store and get the newest product to achieve a look. The thing that I'm addicted to, and I'm quite sure a lot of females are, it is extensions. Like I said, I have probably spent my life savings, more money than I will ever earn on a different type of weave, hair extensions, wigs, half wigs, <laughs> you name it, the type of hair you want it, you can go to the store and point it out. If you've never seen it before, they will make it for you. You can order it online, you can borrow from your friend's closet, your mama got something, you can swap wigs, swap weave. It's amazing what you can do with hair. It gets to the point where it's just like, every week you can have a different hairstyle. Every day, if you want to add a clip-in, Jessica Simpson has invented these clip-ins that you can part your hair, and Caucasian women are doing it now, and I, for one, thought all Caucasian women's hair was real. Mm -hmm. Until one day, I happened to just do this, and I was like, she got tracks. Mm -hmm. It's a clip-in. You can do it, we can do it. It's, you can change it, your hair, anytime you want to. Um, the new thing that I like <laughs> is the lace wig. Now, we see lots of women, and I'm going to use TSU for an example, on the yard, who have invented their own way of doing a lace wig on a wig cap. <laughs> this is a big no. Now, I'm not a fashion hair police, but if you have a black 
cap on your head and you fold your track and glue it with hair glue, that is not the way to go. What you need to do is invest in a lace wig. They start anywhere from $40, that is for synthetic hair, and you can go up to human hair, which is they would use the Remy hair. That costs Ooh. anywhere to $4,000. Now, I'm on a budget. I stick within the $50 to $100 range for the lace wig. You would also need a professional, not your Amy, to put it on in your kitchen, a professional that knows what they're doing to um, use the adhesive tape or the glue to measure it with your um, hairline. Because um, right here, as you can tell, you need to place it on your hairline and cut this part off so it looks like a natural hairline. That is the whole point of lace weave, not to have that cap where you can see the glue. And also, make sure you put, when you put it on, you wipe the excess glue because you don't want to walk around with a chalk line on your forehead. That's not attractive. Um, the glue and the tape um, ranges from $3.99 and the glue, which you can buy in a package or single because you will have to remove it, comes from $12.99 to $85 to the package. Now that's for the good stuff. You can do the $12.99 or you can use tape. Just don't use regular paper tape. It's a special type of tape. Because I see people that try to use, they're, they're inventive. They put bobby pins with their lace wig in. That's not what you're supposed to do. Um, I found out some really bad news the other day. My favorite artist, rapper Nicki Minaj, she is actually bald headed. Yeah, I know. To y'all, it may not be a big deal, but I really looked up her because I really thought her hair was very nice, even though, yes, she made up more wigs. But in her video, she's bald. Like, my son has more hair than she has. So I was like, wow. And she dyed it blonde. So I was looking. I was like, oh, my goodness. So this actually uh, is a wig. And also, when she presented Rip the Runway, she was wearing a wig. But if she would have moved a little bit too hard, it would have fell off because it was a wig and she is bald. Now, a lot of women like to do the Rihanna haircut. When she first came out, after she had her incident with Chris Brown, a lot of women were getting the Rihanna asymmetrical haircut where it was long in the front and short in the back. I actually did rock that for a little bit until someone told me my face was too skinny and it made me look weird. So <laughs> I stopped doing all that. Um, another one of my favorite singers who a lot of people imitate with the big curly hair whenever she was in Dream Girls or just any of her music videos, she has the big curly hair is Beyonce, and she also does rock lace wigs. So those are just something that, different hairstyles that people try to imitate. The obsession of trying to look like someone, your idol, which is fine, but people take it to the extreme. Now the famous saying, if you're not born with it, you can go out and buy it. You can, women can go to any hair salon or beauty supply and get the hair, and if they know someone, they can transform themselves. Uh, some hair products that uh, African American women use is relaxers, they, we try to dye our hair sometimes, like um, I was watching the movie, What's Love Got to Do With It? Tina Turner dyed her hair blonde because uh, Ike wanted her to look like Marilyn Monroe. What happened? Her hair fell out and she started rocking wigs because the chemicals damaged her hair. Um, women on average spend $2,000 yearly to keep their hair maintained. Now for some women that are addicted to weave, like me, yes it is a problem because I know if as long as I have groceries, my rent is paid, I'm going to go get me a new hair piece or I'm going to get my freestyle braids and that's 150 starting off. So it just all depends on how you like to upkeep your hair. Can you hit the next slide? Um, Indy who is another artist that I like and she has symbolized women when you go natural. A natural state of meaning you don't put chemicals, relaxers, dyes, anything on your hair. You just wear your natural hair that you were born with. Now me personally, I don't know. My hair is not that great. And a lot of people, women, may agree that sometimes you just feel better and more secure if you have extra length. It makes it's a security blanket. NDRE has a song that says, I am not my hair. Chris Rock came out with a documentary on good hair. What is good hair? Now, I tried to make the transition of going natural without having a relaxer. I think I lasted six months and I cried because I couldn't comb my hair. So it's, it's the individual. The obsession that women go through to achieve something, okay, I can't point fingers. Like I said, I'm not a fashion hair police because there are days that I do not want to do anything to my hair. But some people just take this in the stream where they will not leave their house if they do not have their hair fixed. Um, the lyrics that are here for the song, I'm quite sure everybody has heard it. Uh, she just said she was a little girl. She started off with a press curl and then her family started putting relaxers and then 
At 15, all her hair broke off, and then at 18, she decided to make the change to go natural. Basically, she's just saying that she is not her hair, she is not the color of her skin, she is her own person, and her hair does not define her. Thank you. Thank you. Are there any questions?